So uh, you guys got any fun facts about yourselves? Okay. Yo, uh, don't you guys think this professor is hella sus? Like, what the fuck is up with his class? And why are we here at 10 p.m.? I was supposed to be at my frat semifinals die tournament right now, but I need this extra credit to get a C plus to a B. Academic probation can suck my dick. I don't know. I think his class is pretty interesting. Um, I'd say it's a little more than pretty interesting. Guys, we are helping advance the boundaries of psychology research at a prestigious university with a renowned professor. He may be a little eccentric, but he is a genius. So extra cut or not, I would have signed up for this anyway. Honestly, it's pretty depressing how much he talks about how people are all truly evil deep down. But uh, whatever. I'm only here for the extra credit. This was supposed to be an easy breath class, but this professor is so strict. Choose one student from the group to begin the first round. Once you have made your choice, send the designated student back into the main room. <laughs> the fuck? That's not creepy at all. He didn't even say why we should pick them. So, does anyone want to volunteer? I kind of want to keep my A+. Yeah, just pick someone. I don't care. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? So we're agreed then, that I'm chosen? I mean, clearly I would be the best choice if it's something academic related. Yeah. Oh my god! Yo, what the fuck? Is that shit real? That was the trial round. Moving forward, your choices make it more difficult. The rules of the study are as follows. Students must choose someone in the group to be slaughtered. For three students, a majority vote will suffice as a decision. Failure to choose a student within three minutes will result in the deaths of the entire group. I have ways to ensure that those who refuse to participate leave the meeting early or call outside sources will face undesirable consequences. Please do not ruin the data. The only way to complete the study is to have one participant remaining. The second run begins now. Please choose one student from the group. Wait, Annie can actually be dead, right? Nah, fuck this shit. Fuck this extra credit. Fuck this class. I don't need to know about some fucking hippocampus or whatever. Wait, wait, don't leave. I mean, you don't know what will do to you. Annie may have just died in front of us and I don't want to find out what the undesirable consequences are. <laughs> Bruh, it's probably just some sick fucked up prank. Old man probably can't even get his dick hard and became a fucking sadist. I'm going to go play die. I'm out. Peace. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I made it very clear that participants were not to leave the meeting as this could potentially derail the study. Now we have no choice but to begin the final round much sooner than anticipated. Since there can be no majority vote, you must each come up with a 90 second argument as to why you should be spared over your fellow participant. You have two minutes to come up with an argument starting now. So this is what you wanted all along, wasn't it? For us to just turn against each other? Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna let you murder someone just to justify your delusional theories. Atlas, we don't have to do this, okay? We, we can get out of it some other way. 
We can... He'd have us both killed, then. Come on. Don't say that. Look, I barely know you, but I'm not gonna volunteer you to be murdered. We'll fight this. I don't think we can, Jason. I think he sent people to wait outside of our apartments and kill whoever gets chosen. All they need is a signal and they'll attack. What What makes you uh, think that? Use your head. How else would the others have been killed so quickly? Plus, I've been hearing someone move around outside my door since we've been put in this breakout room. And you haven't said anything about it this entire time? It hasn't bothered me. How the fuck has it not bothered you? Because I don't think they're going to come for me. Time's up. What are your arguments? Professor, I would be a great asset to your research going forward. I'm also passionate about the work that you do. I'd love to be your shadow. Uh, I'm level-headed, and I will support whatever you want to do to your subjects. And I'm not weak-willed, like my opponent here. I promise you, you should not spare someone so pitiful. An attractive proposition for sure. Jason, what is your rebuttal? I've made my decision. No. Please, please, no. No. Congratulations, Atlas. You have successfully completed this experiment. Now that it's just the two of us, I'd love to see your resume. <laughs>